hello, welcome to our channel. Uh, this uh, here we're gonna be reviewing today. The we the, for the first time more than ten years we're gonna be building. We're gonna be rebuilding an AMD gaming rig and see the performance right now. As you can see there, we have a Core i7, Core i5 uh, 7600K, uh, two gigabyte uh, 1080 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM DDR4, and the motherboard is an ASUS uh, Prime AC. Now we're gonna change all that, and we're gonna. I decide to go with the AMD to see the performance. We got the latest uh, Core uh, Ryzen 5. Uh, here we got the MSI B350, which is more than enough for this computer. We're gonna put uh, all the 32 gigs of RAM here. We're gonna use this uh, CPU, and we're gonna use the same video card. We're gonna see the performance with the one GTX 1080 Ti, and then with another GTX. So we're gonna make an SLI and see how they perform some games. I'm gonna run like four or three games and see the frame per second. Why I'm choosing AMD this time here is because, uh, okay, first, uh, we bought the CPU for 189. Uh, price is really good, they come with the fan already, we don't need to buy the fan, and also they have a lot of cores. Uh, for some people, cores is not so important because they just game, but for me personally, I like to run uh, VMware, and I like to run different uh, machines in my system. So for example, Linux, I run the, like uh, Kali Linux, Linux, Ubuntu, and Windows 10. So better to have more cores if you want to do like this. Also, if I lose like three or five uh, frames per second compared with the, my, my Core i5, it's not a big deal for me. Uh, because at the end, uh, more than 60 frames per second in any game is more than perfect to run it uh, in 2018. Uh, we're gonna be running on the Asus uh, 2K with G-Sync. This is the latest monitor, one of the latest monitor. I think 4K is not needed. This monitor here, what we have on the back, is a 4K by 60 Hz. Now this one, uh, I'll be running this one because it's uh, 144 Hz. It's much better for gaming, and actually it's a gaming monitor. So most important, we see how would the performance here. So let's get into it, let's start building it. Okay, that's it. We got uh, the CPU installed. We got the SSD 500 uh, giga. Okay, 500 gigabyte. Uh, Samsung Evo, one of the best one, M2, and 32 gigs of RAM DDR4 to uh, 2400. Let's install it on the on the case.
Okay, uh, we already finished. It took like maybe 20 minutes to set up everything. Everything, the management cable was already done. So we just need to replace, uh, we just replaced the board, uh, CPU, we put the RAMs and connect the video card. We're gonna make a test with one video card and then we're gonna connect the other one, GTX 1080 Ti. We're gonna see the performance in SLI and with just one video card. Let's see how it performs the Ryzen. I really enjoy to build it. I have to say the it feels more like uh, uh, building a gaming computer for me because the Ryzen I love it. Uh, the way that the video card that the, the comes on the box with the fans and everything, also the board. I really enjoy uh, building this computer. Let's see how it performs. Well, I want to give you my final thoughts about the, the switching to Ryzen. Uh, right now I tested a lot of video games, a uh, few video games like PUBG and Crisis 3 um, on Heaven as a benchmark, a CPU Cinebench ben benchmark and as you can see the performance is good for some tasks, for gaming is not so good, we are always going to lose like uh, 15 or 10 uh, frames per second comparing with the uh, Core i5 uh, 7600K and 8700K will be even worth uh, but uh, at the end it depends how you use your computer for example for me it's worth it because I can save a lot of money uh, not a lot of money, I can save some money uh, with this uh, AMD uh, CPU and uh, instead of buying the Core i7 8700K which I don't use it because for video editing and all this stuff, uh, the stuff I use my setup here which is a MacBook Pro 2016 uh, latest uh, top configuration and I use an LG monitor which is like the, the, the retina display uh, right now this setup for me works perfect if I need more power I use a extended GPU for my Macintosh and that's my workflow I do uh, video editing for my work and uh, maybe play some games um, programming which I don't need a powerful computer at the moment but if you are more like uh, Adobe Premiere this kind of uh, software that you use on PC uh, maybe it will be better to go with the CPU Intel also keep in mind if you're using Adobe Premiere or DaVinci it will be better to have a very powerful GPU like a GTX 1080 Ti uh, because at the end that's what this software used for they used uh, the GPU instead of the CPU right now uh, for me it was fun to have the Ryzen and uh, Ryzen 5 I don't want to spend that much um, on the Ryzen 7 uh, because if I want to spend that money I will go with the uh, Intel Core i7 uh, but for the moment yeah uh, this machine is working for me I think it's a good budget for people that want to build a computer I will put all the links on the on the description where you can buy the, the parts okay leave a comment below if you think what you think about the M, uh, the Ryzen 5 uh, and this configuration what you think if you have an Intel or you prefer an AMD and if you want any other test like uh, set up with the SLI with two video cards or try a different card we have 1070, 1060, all the other cards to see the performance and how much you can save on this setup. Thank you and I see you on the next one.